Fishing from a kayak has a uniqueness that brings us much closer to the fish we chase. They are quite versatile, really. You can fish open water, but also go into places that boats, well, most boats, simply cannot go. Last year, I became addicted to fishing again. Addicted to the sights, sounds, and the bites. Kayak tournaments are decided by length of fish, not weight. So this year, I became addicted to the pursuit of inches. Well, good morning, everybody. Now that I've figured out what was going on with my electronics, we were doing something weird yesterday at the end of the day. Figured that out. Now let's go catch some fish. Oh, want to hit it. And it's not. I just need. Oh well. What is that? What are they? I'm not sure what on earth those are. I do think there's a few. That'll be right off that. Right, I'm not sure what this is. Might be a smallie. If it's a smallie, I'll be shocked. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a giant smallmouth. Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a big one. Hi, Bertha. Close your mouth, please. 20 inches. Stop. Stop. Four and a half pounds. Thank you. 20 inch, four and a half pounds. Yep. <clears throat> Yep. There's a suspended fish right there. Oh, there's another one. Huh? I don't know where they want to be. Yep. I don't know where they want to be fighting today. Give me another one. Ooh. Give me another. Give me another. Ate the whole thing. Munched it. Munched it. Oh. 
Well, good morning, everybody. First launch. I'm at spot number one. That's right outside in front of the launch. Yeah, so I'm just going to hang out pretty much. Kind of slowly make my way around. Kind of see where everything lies, but I know there's some staging and hanging out right here, so I should be able to get a quick five. So we'll see how the day goes. Fingers crossed. We're going to have fun. See you guys when it's first cast. in the court. quarters. Do not want it. That's fine. Do other spots. 
around out here later. I want so there it is. That's the thing I wanted to find. Hey, one more! One more! Twenty. Let's go back there. Grab another.
get over here. Nope. Nope. Get back over here. Five. Got it. Seventeen and three quarters. So, I didn't catch any more fish after that last one. I did run over to a spot that typically in the more afternoon hours, there's some big smallmouth that were hanging around there. And I was kind of throwing a Hail Mary, moved back across the lake to another point that I had seen someone just kind of hang around, but wasn't really, like when I looked over, I wasn't seeing them catch anything. And I know I've caught couple twenty and a halfs actually off this one particular spot um, leading up to the tournament and threw a Hail Mary and I'm not Aaron Rodgers um, this is a great example of you have to keep your head in the game and it's it's all a mental thing um, when it comes to tournament fishing and I've gotten pretty good with trying to be able to just manage this and this was a great lesson for me and anybody else um, a lot can happen in 30 to 40 like less than an hour a lot a lot um, can happen there so right at the very end when I started with the 20 is uh, those were the bass that I needed to fill a limit and actually call a, a, at least one um, one bass and that moved me from like bottom to actually getting my first top 10 placement ever. Um, it was pretty good. Um, literally, it all happened in that little short span right around like quarter to noon, 1230-ish around there. Um, and it just goes to show it just takes one bite. One bite can change the whole thing. Um, one little stretch, just one active fish, um, can just change everything. But what's really cool about this tournament, and uh, last last year, I only submitted one fish. <laughs> so this is a drastic improvement from last year. Um, but with this particular tournament, the first tournament of the year for NYKBF, it's a charity tournament. So we actually donated um, all of our entry fees. Um, so no... The anglers didn't win money. We won prizes from all like the sponsors that sponsored the trail and stuff like that. I got a D Genesee dog bowl, and then I got some leashes and stuff like that, which was actually was pretty cool because my dad wanted a phone leash uh, for his vest for his kayak. Um, so I didn't have to buy one. <laughs> I wanted one. Um, so he got that. Besides that, 
all of our entry fees were donated. We raised up over over four thousand um, dollars and donated it to the local chapter of the American Suicide Prevention um, Association. Great cause. It was really cool being able to go to awards and actually being able to talk with pe with pe with people. Um, way different experience than last year, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, with just being able to know people now and actually have some friends that are in that I fish with so it's really It's a great start to the year um, Another two weeks then we have Onondaga Lake, which I've never fished <laughs> first like, like I, there's gonna be a lot of new water for me for this year and It'll be interesting to see how I approach like practice and breaking things down. So Onondaga is in two weeks. So I'm gonna get up here and go uh, go practice a bit uh, ne next week. And uh, yeah, season's off to a pretty hot start. Hopefully it stays hot. I hope so. Um, so that, I'm Ian. See you guys in the next one.